Hey, bum, 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 bum. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Go Go Sports. It's where the world's comes cash, your home for combat sports, and above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from DAVKOCO.com. We are Coco Sports on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and now the TikTok. And uh, as always, we ask you the most important question in the world win, loss, or tie we just ended our live stream on twitch.tv forward slash coco sports where we do the best of the super juniors every night watch party please join us it's a lot of fun and and we keep the streak of the youtube of the review and preview of everything i am a bit tired <laughs> i'm starting with three or four or five businesses and tomorrow night at 8 p.m eastern so the 28th 8 p.m eastern We'll be doing a ch uh, charity stream for Stack Up for veterans. It's very close to my heart, so check it out. More about that later. But right now, I'm giving this a win. I'm a little sleepy, a little worn down, giving it a win. Um, I think the two main events haven't lived up to being in the main event spot. But the counter argument of that is, well, it's a sport. The main event will always be the best. Um, but I do feel like there's a little bit of old school in me. It's like, no, the main event should steal the show or be one of the best matches of the night. Um, overall, I thought it was pretty good. The standings are getting a little wacky. There's some good stories. And like I said before, if you weren't going to be a madman and watch every single match and not be able to fast forward to Gucci matches, I would fast forward all to Gucci matches and start when it was all tournaments, that free show at Cork and Hall really turned it around. The arena tonight was a little bit weird. It was in Chiba and it was mostly made for like big video game conferences. Like I, I, they had to do Pokemon there. They do uh, Nintendo. They do video game championships. They do video game shows. Like it's a, not meant for sports or that. And it looked kind of weird on camera. Uh, but Overall, I still give it a win. Just something that I thought I right now we are reading the results on tpww.net. No affiliation whatsoever. It's just they do such a great job covering it and it's really quick. Hopefully, guys, the guys at TPWW don't be scumbags. <laughs> yeah, so it's a it's a Chiba. It was an in, uh international conference hall. All right, so here we go. We're breaking it down. Here's the quick results. All right, you got Akira defeated uh, Kanamaru um, in about 10 minutes. I don't know. When Akira first came on the scene of New Japan, everyone lost their shit. I didn't watch All Japan. I don't see it. I don't see it, you know. Hopefully, he could prove me wrong. Kanamaru is Kanamaru. And usually, the last couple days, they have been really rocking it with opening matches. That wasn't today. It was it was what it is. Next, I, I enjoyed this match. Uh, I I also host a show with Rick 1982. Um, he didn't like it as much as I did, but Ishimori defeats Clark Connors. I thought it told a great story. It made Clark Connors look really strong. He had most of the offense, and last second, the experienced Ishimori taps him out. It wasn't bad. It, it you know it was a pretty damn good match. Um, next, you got Titan uh, beats Bushi. Via springboard double foot stomp. I enjoyed this match a lot. I feel like Titan in ring. He 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 lived up to the hype, but it was just bad, poorly book booked. How does he have such a bad record? He's representing CMLL. He's having great matches, yet he's getting on the short end of the stick. And there's, I was like, oh, maybe he'll make a comeback. But there's only like three more shows left. So to me, I'm glad Titan won. Ah, uh, it's just a head scratcher. Taguchi defeats Yo. It's a Taguchi match. Fast forward. It's bullshit. It's embarrassing. It shouldn't be on the fucking card. It is fucking disgusting. It is wrong. Fuck you, Taguchi. I have to sit there through your fucking matches. He pulled an upset, and no one gives a shit. Yo, just fucking end your goddamn career. Just walk out. Head over to you know Impact, AEW, Noah. I mean, I don't know if you're fast enough to be in Dragon Gate, but still, just keep fucking walking. There's no way. No. Taguchi. Moving on. Show defeats Ace Austin via ref stops. They had a wrench in it, a wrench in a match, heel stuff. And um, it sucks because I was really high on Ace Austin. And Show, he could be so much better, but chooses to be a heel. Just chooses to fucking be over the top heel. And it 
just doesn't work anymore. Next time you're at a live studio audience, the next time you look at the audience and they do heel tactics, like when El Desperado jumps down and scrapes the back, the reaction they're going for is us booing and being angry. When the, the house of shitheads, the house of torture, the house of pain, the house of fucking pancakes comes down to the goddamn ring, they want you to boo. Now, there's this thing. Kids, it's called the cell phone. Look at that. Mine has Leonardo. Hey, how are you doing? You know there's a charity stream tomorrow. Be there. Twitch.tv go with sports. Thank you, Leonardo. Look when they're supposed to get their booze. How often they just go to their cell phones. Notice it. Notice it. Over the top bullshit heel tactics don't work anymore because you went to the well too many times and we have entertainment right fucking here. Right here. Right here. Because let me tell you something. At Wrestle Kingdom, I the matches that fucking sucked, their eyeballs were on this. Not the fucking match. They were on this. So when you jump off and you're like, holy oh, shit, I the back. <laughs> See how many motherfuckers looking at their phone. When you pull out the wrench and you're running around the fucking ring, see how many motherfuckers are looking at their goddamn phone. You abused, you overabused, shitty old school heel tactics. Now, do old school heel tactics work? Yes. Does it work 16 shows in a row? No. Look, next time you go to a live event, someone jumps off their back and rakes. When someone pulls out a fucking wrench and does wacky to do, their eyes go to this. Their eyes go to this. Same thing with pulling luchador masks off. You know, if you went with athletic ability and then every now and then threw a heel tactic and they were used to seeing athletic ability, then they would boo because they couldn't fucking believe that an athletic competition was fucking ruined by your stupidity. But if stupidity is all they know, they're going to check Twitter. If stupidity is all they know, they're going to go to TikTok. If stupidity is all they know, they're going to play Candy Crush. They're not watching your stupidity. Um, yeah, show defeats Ace Austin. There was a wrench. There was stupidity. Uh, Wheeler Utah defeated Master Watto. I like this. It was only 757. And they did something that a lot of these super... Super juniors did they faked the double down. They went for the double down and then they doubled down on action. I thought this was probably the best match of the night. Wheeler defeated defeats Master Watto. I enjoyed the match a lot. El Fatasmo, uh, he started off absolutely like a bag of fucking dicks and is starting to step it up. TJP, um, we know what he's what he can do, and he shows up and he does it. Where El Fatasmo, it goes up and down. I thought it was very enjoyable. Robbie Eagles defeated El Linderman. These are two guys that I want to see super, uh, I want to see. The, I feel like the finish came out of nowhere with a Ron Miller special submission. Uh, Robbie Eagles defeats El Linderman, and he wants a shot at the title. And that was a little bit exciting. Uh, the second half was like, really good. And then you got um, Takahashi defeats Alex Zane. Here in Japan, Alex Zane and Ace Austin are crazy over. I hope they come back. I hope, you know, that they earned they earned the crowd's uh, love. Um, yeah, Alex Zane is like all over the fucking place. Ace Austin's all over the place. People are enjoying them. They're getting over, and I'm so happy to see it. Takahashi does not look like the Takahashi we all know and love, so hopefully he's okay health-wise, and hopefully he steps it up. Uh, Takahashi does defeat Alex uh, Zane. Uh, via submission, I thought this match was amazing. Now, we go to El Desperado defeats uh, Doki, the main event. Um, I thought it was a good match. It's just, I think it's two nights in a row. Maybe three. Don't quote me. I'm really tired. But the main event felt like work. It was like, all right. I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just the show peaked. I don't know there's the Ring of Honor thing of, oh, it's a sport. You never know when the exciting parts are going to happen. Yeah, maybe. But maybe we should leave with fucking excitement. Um, 
I think that I think this was a good average to good match that followed a lot of good to great matches. El Desperado does defeat uh, Doki, and he beats him by submission. And yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow night the main event is amazing. I'll be streaming for 12 hours, so I'll probably be extra cranky. Plus, we'll have uh, charity events, <laughs> and I'll be drinking. So it should be an interesting good time here at Twitch. Let's go see what the card has. And there's only a few more nights left. It will be in Ota City General Gymnasium in Tokyo, Japan. Kamata. My uh, kids in my old house uh, are minutes away from there. Master Wato uh, versus L. Linderman. Uh, that should be very interesting. Titan versus Doki should be interesting. Yo versus Alex Zane. Yo, just come on, man. Come on. Bushi versus TJP should be interesting. All right. Um, I'm as far as Master Wato and L. Linderman goes, I think L. Linderman has to win this match because he's a champ. I think Titan has to beat Doki. I think it's going to be awesome. I think Alex Zane has to beat Yo just out of popularity, but who knows? Maybe Yo has a shot. There's a lot of people thinking Yo will make a comeback, but it doesn't look it. You got Bushi versus TJP. Uh, I think it, it could have be really good. You got Clark Connors versus Takahashi. That should be very interesting. Um, you got Taguchi versus Ace Austin. Ace Austin from the bottom of my heart. I am sorry. <sighs> you got Wheeler Yuta versus El Fatasmo. El Fatasmo, please just have a great match. All right. Just have a good. What? Is the Bullet Club becoming inconsistent club? Like the Bullet Club, either you either have a 10 star match or holy fuck, you want to punch yourself in the dick. Bullet Club, get your shit together. Get your shit together, Bullet Club. You got Wheeler versus El Fatasmo. That should be amazing. You got Kanamori versus Show. I just want to apologize. That is going to be fucking garbage. Akari versus Ishimori. It's going to be interesting. I want to see what Akari can do. I mean, uh, when we did a live watch party and he showed up, everyone fucking shit their pants and explosions and like, yeah, this is going to be amazing. I haven't seen it yet, but looking forward to it. And then Robbie Eagles versus El Desperado. And it's weird because... As I look at this, some people came to the Super Juniors and fucking delivered. Ace Austin, Clark Connors, um, you know, and then some p people, you know, let's see. Some people, uh, they were booked horribly but came in to deliver Titan. And some people just, you know, have been very inconsistent. So it's going to be an interesting situation. Robbie Eagles versus El Desperado in a main event. Ooh, ooh, it should be good. All right, let's go look at the ratings real quick. All right, we got Ace Austin, and two, this is the A block. Ace Austin and Ishimori both at 10 points, but Ace Austin has the win, so that should be interesting. You got three people at eight. You got Alex Zane, Sho, and Takahashi. Then you got... Uh, three people at six. Yo, Clark Connors, and Akana. And then you got Kanamaru and Taguchi. Who literally have two fucking wins. Have two fucking wins. All right. All right. Next, the B block. You got El Fatasma and El Desperado, both at 10 points, both at five and two. You got Robbie Eagles, El Linderman, and Wheeler Yuta, both at eight points. You got TJP, Doki, and Bushi at uh, six points. And you got Master Wato and Titan at four points. So I have no idea. Like, I'm rooting for Master Wato to have a breakout uh, tournament. I don't know if he has. He, he He's had some really good matches. He's had some average matches. Um, I, was, I was hoping for him to shine. Um, Titan, it makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. Why the CMLL tight and best of the super juniors guy is fucking literally wrestling so good the style that they're asking him to wrestle and booking wise he has two fucking wins so he could finish four and five if everything goes right if everything goes right he can finish four and five who's titan going against i apologize short term memory loss it's the best He's going against Doki. All right. Hopefully he can beat Doki. And then who's he going to go against? 
Do, 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 do. Oh, it's way down here, the order, huh? All right. There we go. And what's the last night he's going against? Titan. Come here, baby. Where are you at? Titan? Robbie Eagles. Okay. So maybe he could, fin maybe he could finish strong at four and five. But to me, he just deserves so much more than that. But, I mean, maybe you could say he was making a comeback. All right. As always, we ask you win, loss, or tie. And right now, I'm just going to ask you to hold on in one second. Boom. I want to promote something that is very special to my heart. Uh, we will be doing an event. It will also be part of charity. We'll be watching New Japan. It's on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. Uh, the 28th, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're raising money for Stack Up, a nonprofit charity that helps veterans and service members promote positive mental health and suicide prevention through the power of gaming. Um, gaming is a great, great escapism. Um, the link will be down below, and we'll also have it, have it at Twitch. Um, and I served as Marine Corps Infantry, and a lot of my friends have uh, committed suicide or exited early. And there's been times in my life where I've uh, committed to exit early and I just wish there was something like this for me earlier in my life. And I just don't want to see any of my brothers and sisters exiting early anymore. So this is really special to my heart. I know I've mocked uh, charities in the past. I am not getting paid for this. A hundred percent of what we earn is going straight to stack up. All right. Um, hope to see you there. Um, with that, like, comment, subscribe, and see you soon. With that, what was that? See you soon. Like, that's my saying. Oh, come on, I messed up my own line. That's how tired I am. With that, I am over. Hey.